to market these products, sometimes preservatives and filler products are used to stabilize them. Please try to get more natural sources for your proteins um, so that your body doesn't have to do with, deal with the extra work of processing preservatives and fillers, which can have potential side effects of toxic byproducts that can increase inflammation and damage the tissues. So I encourage all patients to always read the labels. Make sure that you know what you're ingesting because in trying to do something good for yourself, you don't want to take in something that can be potentially harmful. Hello and welcome to Fundamentals with Dr. Adobe Obasi. I'm a physician scientist, both certified in dermatology and dermatopathology. In this video, I wanted to have a discussion about collagen. So collagen supplements are very common in the market. You see a lot of commercials about them on social media as well as on TV. Are they useful? So I wanted to address that question today. Collagen is a protein and this protein is makes up about 30 percent of the total protein in the body and there are about 26 different types of collagen in different parts of the body functioning in different ways in the skin there are two main types of collagen which is collagen 7 and collagen 1 but you also have collagen in multiple different tissues including the bones the cartilage the eye so it's important to understand that and not think of collagen as being one thing. Now, when you take in a collagen supplement, I always tell my patients this, you are simply taking in protein. You might as well eat an egg white or eat some other types of protein because it goes into the body and is broken down into the building blocks of protein called amino acids. When you ingest collagen or taking collagen, whether it's a drink or a powder, you're not taking, you're not going to use it in that form. It's simply a way to take in more protein that is now broken down to the building blocks and your body uses it to make whatever it needs, which could definitely include collagen. But if you are taking it thinking it'll help the skin collagen, you may be helping your bone or other parts of the body that are made of collagen, as well as other non-collagen proteins, which there are 80%, um, the myosin of the muscle, keratin of the skin, hair and nails, multiple different enzymes that are used to help your body function. So there's truly no problem with taking collagen supplements other than being aware that to market these products, sometimes preservatives and filler products are used to stabilize them. These preservatives and fillers can be processed in your body and create some problems in terms of the byproducts after they've been processed by the liver called increasing inflammation in your system. In and of themselves, they can increase inflammation in your system and inflammation can now cause damage to the different organs in your body, including the skin, and you may end up having increase in rashes and acne when you start these products. So collagen supplements, protein supplements, nothing wrong with getting extra protein to be used for whatever your body needs because you're not going to get whatever protein you think you're taking in. It's going to go into your stomach and be broken down to the building blocks called amino acids. And then these amino acids are going to be used by your body to make whatever it needs, whether it's muscle, hair, skin, different enzymes. So just be cautious with the formulation you use to make sure that you're using one that doesn't have tons of preservative and fillers that gives your kidney and your liver extra work to do in processing them and may result in byproducts that can increase inflammation. So proteins 
in your diet are very important because it gives your body these access to the building blocks called amino acids. We make some amino acids and some are called essential amino acids, which we need to get from our diet. We want to have these proteins to make the structures such as hair, bone, skin, but also enzymes that drive our metabolism and other functions in the skin. So proteins are great. However, when you're supplementing with some of these more processed forms of protein, you have to do that with caution and read the labels, making sure that you err on the side of more natural proteins from plants, phytoproteins, from animals, depending on your diet and your lifestyle, and then just enough of it to make sure you have adequate amounts. But be careful about ingesting toxins and preservatives and fillers unknowingly. This is a very common question that I'm asked in clinic, and I tell patients, I prefer patients getting their protein from more natural sources, such as eating animal protein of different sorts, um, eggs, milk, um, meats, but also phytoproteins or plant-based proteins, which can be a great source of proteins in a natural way that can be used in your body to help fuel whatever it needs. So I encourage all patients to always read the labels. Make sure that you know what you're ingesting because in trying to do something good for yourself, you don't want to take in something that can be potentially harmful. Therefore, enjoy eating your proteins. Try to get more natural sources for your proteins um, so that your body doesn't have to do with, deal with the extra work of processing preservatives and fillers, which can have potential side effects of toxic byproducts that can increase inflammation and damage the tissues. And also, make sure that you read the labels on whatever you're ingesting. Please subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell as well as the like button and leave a comment below if you do take protein supplements. And for what reason? You're all fundamentally awesome. I want you to have a wonderful day and God bless.